if you have a Honda Odyssey and in this case if you have any Honda uh, car with an engine which is 3.5 liter VTAC and they go in uh, multiple cars uh, like the Pilot Odyssey and any of the V6 engines that uh, uh, they produce you might be wondering when to change the timing belt and spark plugs and I'm going to show you how in my case we have a 2010 Honda Odyssey and when are we going to change this based on the the indication that uh, we had the maintenance minder that came up so we had owned this uh, Honda Odyssey since uh, it was new 2010 and we had it for 11 years now it is 2021 July and it has uh, shy of 100,000 miles so it is like 99,800 some miles and the reminder came out around 99,500 or so and uh, the reminder came for A14 at uh, after 11 years and uh, close to 100,000 miles And in the manual, you will see the timing belt is number four, spark plugs, replace spark plugs, replace timing belt, and inspect water pump. So it says that if you drive in high temperatures over 110 degrees or low temperatures at minus 20 degrees, replace every 60,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers. To talk to a dealer or if you go online, they will recommend you change the timing belt and the spark plugs closer to 105,000 or seven years, whichever is earlier. In our case, we should have replaced the timing belt and the uh, spark plugs um, way before, almost four years ago. We just held up to wait to see what uh, the Honda engine actually uh, tells us to do. And I usually go by the reminders on the service uh, schedules. So here is the old belt, if you are wondering whether you need to change it. Now, does it look good? Yes, it does. There are no fraying, no cracks. And will it last another 25 to 30,000 miles? Probably yes. Would you take a risk? Probably not. Because if you know, these 3.5 liters Honda engines are an interference engine. So if your timing belt breaks, in the engine while you are driving at high speeds that means the, your interference engine is going to create a lot of uh, damage to your engine the there is hardly any clearance actually there is no clearance for these interference engines between the pistons and uh, the uh, the valves so as the pistons moves up if the valves are not timed correctly the valves will hit the piston and that will create a huge damage to your engine. And you are looking at probably replacing the engine or maybe thousands of dollars, probably $3,000, $4,000. So you need to watch uh, my other video on how to replace it. And I will just show you the kit I have is the ASIN kit TKH002. And you should always go with the OEM ASIN kit and it comes with a little uh, information manual. There is the timing belt. There is the ACE in water pump. This is very important. If you are going to change the timing belt, you want to replace the water pump around the same time. And there is an idler pulley, which is the uh, Koyo idler pulley, as well as a Koyo uh, tensioner pulley. These two pulleys uh, came with it and this is the tensioner which is an ASIN tensioner and uh, there is a uh, sticker to note down when you changed the last uh, timing belt and this is important because I'll probably stick it where you can every, anyone can see it in case we sell our car it will be recorded here. And also for the spark plugs I got the original the OEM spark plugs, these came with uh, laser iridium spark plugs and uh, the number is 3657. Now note that these spark plugs are meant for the VTEC engine. If you have the 2010 
uh, EXL, which is the, the leather version or limited, it will have something called 3.5 i VTEC. Just make sure your engine is is either uh, VTEC or i VTEC based on that, your spark plugs will be, will be different. Because the i VTEC is, has the variable cylinder, cylinder management and that takes a different spark plug. So subscribe to my channel and um, you will find uh, the videos on how I, I changed the spark plugs and the timing belt on this car.